Right, hello everyone. I'm back with another video. Um, this is the ADE, Security Systems Control Panel. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, ADE either stands for Advanced Design Electronics or Advanced Design Electronics. I'm not sure. I think it's Advanced. So, Advanced Design Electronics Security Systems Control. Um, it's basically a really early burglar alarm panel. Um, this particular panel, I think, is from the 1970s. And I found it in a skip of a house that was being refurbished or done up, whatever they say. But unfortunately, this panel is broken. This panel is another victim of the never-ending exit delay. Um, so it was what else had a never ending exit delay? I think it was the Trade Guard Epsilon. The Trade Guard Epsilon key switch panel, which has also been featured on my channel, also, like this panel, had a never ending exit delay. So basically, everything works fine. There's no troubles, as you can see. The main circuit light is off. Um, we've just got a mains power light, but yet. Um, um, well, everything looks fine, and everything is fine in the off position, but when you put the panel on, you'll see the problem. Literally, the exit delay just doesn't end. Now, it's not got a proper buzzer in, because there was no buzzer in it, so I've put um, a little beeper thing in that was on Amazon for like 50 pence or something ridiculous like that. So I bought that, and I've just put it in here temporarily. Um, yeah, so three functions off test and on so when you were going to leave you put it in test mode to make sure all the circuits were closed and if all the circuits were closed the system clear light would come on so we'll just do that now we'll put the key in it had no keys when I found it so I've had to modify the key switch so it works with some of my keys so anyway there's one of my keys from broken alarm panels or alarms that have been thrown away so we put that in and turn that the system clear light comes on. So um, obviously we now know the system's clear and it can be armed. So basically that's all you would have done back in the day and that that would be it. Um, you just put the system on and then you'd go out. So I'll just arm the system now and if there's a fault, but there shouldn't be because the system clear light came on, but if there's a fault the main circuit light will come on. You'll see what I mean when I say never ending exit delay. I'll let it count down for something like 30 seconds. But I've left it, I've put the panel in full guard. Well, it's got no part guard, but I've put put the panel in guard. I've gone away and I've come back and it's still been counting down. So I know it's broken. Um, I've left it a good 10 minutes and it's still beeping when you get back saying time to leave. Anyway, I've linked out all the zones so it should count down, well it does count down, it should arm itself but it doesn't so I'll put the system in um, guard and I'll show you what I mean you'll hear the buzzer, the buzzer's actually quite loud but then it'll it, it just won't stop So this is now your counting down time. This is time to exit the building. So this noise is telling you it's okay to leave. So you can leave. Right, I'll turn it off now because it's quite clear that the exit delay isn't going to finish and isn't planning to finish any time soon. So, three, two, one, and off. So, 
you get the idea. It just won't finish counting down. And um, that's literally the problem with it. So due to that one problem, it can't be used as an intruder alarm panel. And I can't install this anywhere because it just doesn't function as intended. So that's a shame, but I'll keep it. It's a rare one, so I'm not going to throw it away. Um, yeah, nice retro looking design. Very 1970s. It was either early 80s or late 70s. can't remember what I said before, but I think it's um, late 70s. And so, this is a demonstration video though, so I'll demonstrate what I can. Obviously that's very limited, and it's an early panel, so there's not many features. Um, there's no backup battery fitted at the moment. I have had a backup battery fitted, so that's not the problem with it. Um, it still won't finish counting down. But obviously the backup battery, in a mains failure, the panel still functions as normal. So I'll just go ahead though and show you what happens with a dead backup battery. So I'll t I've just wired a plug to it, you may be able to see the white cable. I'll just turn the plug off, or the plug socket, whatever. And you may be able to see on camera that little light has gone off. And underneath that light it says mains power, and that's telling us there's no mains in the panel anymore. And as you can see, if I put the panel in test, the system clear light hasn't come on, nor has any of the lights, so we know the panel's dead. So all silent, and then the power comes back on, and the mains power light comes back on, and that's it. So that's all that happens in a power cup. Now if this was a new panel or a late 1980s panel uh, anywhere in the 90s and a panel up to this date um, a panel post 1985 I would say when the power came back on after a dead backup battery the panel would immediately go into alarm and set the burglar alarm off but this panel isn't like that, it's an early one and they never used to do that literally with an older key switch panel the Logic 4 doesn't do it because that's a newer key switch panel, but the old key switch panels in a power cut, the power comes back on, nothing happens. We've just got a mains light and that's it. Now I have fitted um, a sounder into this inside the panel so it would be going off if it was in alarm and it's not, so that's it. The only way I can get it to go into alarm um, is by putting it into tamper by opening up the panel. That's the only way I can get it to go into alarm. So I'll do that now and you'll hear the Phoenix sound bomb go off. Because I've fitted this with a Phoenix sound bomb. So I'll undo this screw here. Small little screw. That came out fairly easily. So, when I open the panel now, it will go into tamper, so you'll hear the sound bomb go off. And then to reset that tamper, I have to put the panel in guard and then switch it off again. So if I'm a robber now and I open the cover... Right, so that's that reset, so you put the panel back in full guard, and then off again. So now I've demonstrated the tamper. So as there's no backup battery, if the mains power went, if there was a failure, a mains power failure, and there was a tamper, obviously the alarm wouldn't go off because there's no backup battery fitted or it'd be the same if there was a dead backup battery fitted. So I'm going to show you the inside of this panel and then I'm going to conclude this video. So I'll turn the power off because we don't want it um, we don't want it to be ringing whilst I show you the insides. But actually I've just realised I don't need to kill the power. If you put the system in test it bypasses tamper it's just the light will go off. So if I put the alarm in test, 
Why can't I do that? No, why can't I move that key switch? There we go. System clear. So obviously the system clear light will go off, but it won't alarm. You'll be able to hear the tamp switch click and then you'll notice the system clear light will die and that's literally the panel open then. So one, two, three. See that? Close it again, light system clear light on, open the panel, system clear light off. Right, so Here's the inside, it's very technical looking. Um, I'll try to, well, as far as my zoom in goes. It'd be better if I put the panel flat. It might be better anyway. Is that better? Let me look through. It's not really, it might be better if I hold it up like that. Anyway, you can see. Try to get it in a position. Anyway, there's the Phoenix sound bomb I put in. So that's the thing that went off when I put it into Tampa. And there's that cheapest chips buzzer that was on Amazon. Some of them have an LED in the middle actually, but I just got a plain one. Um, so that's you can see that diagram there actually that tells you how to wire it. So if you want to take a look at that, I'll try to move everything out of the way and then I'll hold up the panel to the try to the um, camera and then what I'll do is um, well I'll hold up the diagram and then you'll have to pause the video if well you will be watching on YouTube because I'm not holding it up for ages probably not doing a very good job of this Mats may be fitted between any circuit, 1, 2, 3 or 4, and PA slash 24 hour. Auxiliary 12 volts may be found between PA negative and bell positive. Terminals 9 and 14. To isolate circuit 3 or circuit 4, push button when in test only. Turn on quickly. Buzzer will sound when it is safe to open exit contacts. Right, that's it. That's all it says. And there, you might be able to see, I've fitted the terminal block because the red power wire to the key switch unit had been cut. So I just put a terminal block and I've put that back how it should be. can see there we've got mains in there a transformer and mounting holes and this could have been a different panel or a more deluxe one as this as that's ADE's speaker hole that's the design they have for speaker holes and there's a cable entry point there there and there obviously the power's going in through that one So I'll close this now. And the system clear light should come on. Well, it doesn't matter. I'll turn it off now, actually. The light isn't coming. I've just turned it off at the mains. Because I just realised there's no point. Because literally, I'm going to... Um, conclude this video now and obviously there's no point in the panel being on when I'm not here because I'm, I'm going to leave my workroom now so I've just turned it off I got confused then because I turned it off and there was no light there was no mains power light when I realized I'd turned it off um, so yeah put the keys back in the off position 
and that's it. So that's it for the ADE security systems control with the never ending exit delay. So that's this video um, and I've shown you everything about it and I can't test it pr properly unfortunately because um, it's broken with the exit delay. Now I'm not going to make a video on this but when I was walking my dog I found this Texacop, what is it, a 1E? Um, bell box and obviously the sticker's on the wrong way around because MAS would fit it like this instead of like this which is how it's supposed to be fitted and you could have had LEDs poking through the cover as the A has LED spaces it's very mucky it needs cleaning and um, it's been ripped off the wall so I didn't get the back plate I only got those two screws and part of the back plate where it's been ripped off so that's it, I just thought I'd make a little video, well a little ending with that. I'm going to leave it like this, just clean it down because then I can mount it. I'll um, figure out a way to mount it and then it looks like it's got a back plate because you'll still have the screws in from the missing pieces of back plate. So I just thought I'd show you that because it's not worth making a separate video on that. I just thought I'd mention that quickly. And there we go, back on topic to the ADA security systems control. So I've mentioned everything now, and I'll stop blabbing and let you get on with whatever you were doing before you were watching this video. So goodbye, and thank you for watching, and see you in the next video. See you later.